and my name is Desi Xu. I'm a Chinese licensed attorney. Today my topic is getting things done Chinese way. Uh, with China entry into the WTO and will host the Olympic Games in 2008, the relationship between China and Western in politics, economy, and culture will become more and more interesting. Undoubtedly, the attic will, place a, will play an important role um, and it will in, influence the Chinese businessman. Mm. Understand how Chinese work. Uh, things really work differently in China. In this, per, uh, in this pre presentation, we explain a, a bit about Chinese values. China is known as one of the most challenging places to do business on the planet. So you have to work before you run in the Chinese market. And I think it's of no use to complain about the Chinese way all the time. Realizing the difference and getting it right, you will get the, th the key to success in the Middle Kingdom. Here are some key points. Honoring faith, attach importance to consensus and mutual benefit, developing patience, sharing information, keeping the dialogue going despite buffs in the road, talking to the right authorities, honoring faith. Faith in Chinese means means. It's very similar to pride, which is a, a key culture concept in China, giving someone an honorable face so that he, will she, uh, he or she will regard you as a true friend. Saving or giving face is the most important thing in China. And then dis disagreeing with others, you should qualify what you say as much as possible by use possibly, might, um, a little to soften any possible embarrassment. Mm. You know, Chinese people won't drop on you until they feel comfortable with you and regard you as their true friends. Because they will cause you lose faith and insult it. Mm. Park is a work of Chinese heritage, so Chinese pay attention to their Consensus. The Chinese work together to make decisions instead of passing along responsibility to one group or worker. While you are waiting for the Chinese to gain consensus, the best approach is to stay in regular contact with them from time to time. Sometimes the foreign investor, investors don't appreciate it, but a lot of healthy debate and conflicts are going on among them. The indecision may be the result of conflicts of interest, uh, weak regulation and laws, and poor struggles uh, among certain officials. If you want to know the Chinese behavior, we have to mention Confucius. And um, do you know Confucius? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <coughs> Confucius is a famous philosopher and the writer. He lives in the village of Zhou, uh, namely today's Shandong province. He lived in the Chunqiu dynasty 2,500 two years ago, and his name is Kongqiu, still Zhongni. He's a famous philosopher because he made a lot of writing things in the ancient in the ancient China that helped people to real, realize the nature, the behavior, the, the world, and the human beings. He also helped the government and empire by teaching them how to rule their country successfully. Confucius loved peace, so he, he persuaded the government to stop war and develop their culture to make people live a better life. The legendary scholar who influenced the China's politics and morals, 
Confucius' teaching can give you insight into the Chinese way of thinking. Here are some of his famous sayings. Don't do to others what you do not want them to you. Before you embark on a journey of re revenge, dig two graves. This means don't re revenge on the others. Because although you revenge on the others successfully, what you have lost won't return. Regiment only bring you mistress and make you more upset. So the more you tolerant, the happier you will be. Uh, number three, he will speak without modesty. Will find it difficult to make his words good. This means pay attention to your things because people will conclude on you by your by your speech. The Chinese people like modesty people, not the arrogant one. The culture seldom error. We'll talk about it later.